This is how Detroit builds cars, as quickly as possible, as cheaply as possible. And plants look like this from Japan to Germany. But car building looks like this in Crewe, the northern English town where they make Rolls-Royce and Bentley cars. While automation and robots are crucial to our way of building cars, it's still something that's in limited use here. We have automated to some extent. Things that can be made by machines um, successfully, uh, and we don't make anything in, in great numbers. We use, machine, we use computerized drilling machines, for example, to help make the engine. But the engine is put together by hand. Um, in many respects, the, uh, the eye and the hand are the finest instruments to use. On August 2nd, Rolls-Royce completed its 100,000th car. The people at Rolls-Royce say it's taken them just 81 years to do it. That is fewer cars than were made in the United States last week. We don't have a production line as such. I, I think the, we have an assembly area, uh, and the cars are pushed from place to place as it's time for the next process uh, to be uh, carried out. Um, I think um, the Rolls-Royce production line as such would give, give a Detroit production engineer a cardiac arrest. You know, it's <laughs> to mark its milestone and the 100th anniversary of the automobile, Rolls-Royce has made 25 copies of the 100,000th car. You can't buy the original, but you can buy one of the copies. There are 12 in the U.S. and just one in Dallas-Fort Worth. It has special paint, silver inlays in the wood veneer, and a special cocktail cabinet built into the front console, for passengers only, of course. And the lucky owner will also receive this special case with silver-plated keys, a silver key fob, a notebook, an introductory cassette, and inside a frameable photo of the car. It's somehow appropriate that two of the special centenary cars are here in Texas. After all, the first Rolls-Royce ever sold in the U.S. was bought by a Texan back in 1906. Ed Martell, Channel 5 News Tonight, Dallas.